Now let's create uh, a font inside Next.js. First, uh, we need to go to Google so dot font. Google dot Google fonts, I think. So now you can see there is uh, a lot of fonts in here. So in our Next.js app, we can use fonts directly inside the layout. You can see. Uh, it is giving us next.fonts.google there is some elements inside this uh, we can directly import this uh, the font is inside this inter class name and we can use directly this but some fonts may be not found inside this next font google so and uh, it it is it will apply to all elements so i think it's not a good option to use it like this if you want to change the fonts inside your next JS app, we can go to globals and uh, we can come here and uh, we can select any fonts you want. Let's say I can select this. Now it will give us this font and uh, we can go to this get font element and uh, we can go to get embed element. Uh, let's go here think it is not giving let's use the import element now you can copy this import element and copy this and come here and uh, you can paste here now we can use this font uh, and uh, let's come here and uh, you can see it will give us font variation elements uh, now let's give let's copy this i think i don't want the font element i want only this uh, and let's copy this and let's create an element at layer layer element and the component inside your tailwind file and uh, let's give dot style and let's paste that and uh, let's change this to i think 300 now you can use this style inside any element inside your next JS app so inside uh, this page you can see we have this if i change this now you can see it is this font let's come here and uh, you can see it is like this right there I think it has by default applied that yeah let's go here and uh, let's give a class name and let's paste the style and let's save this you can see it has applied that and uh, if I come here again and in global CSS I think let's save it oh it will give me that uh let's give a font weight of 900 you can see it will give this but uh, it will also apply another element is to change that uh, we need to give a class name to each element is and uh, we need to disable the style that is affected by this uh, for now it will give this element is a button element but we, you can omit the button element styles by using style none i will not do that now but you can do that um, so you can use directly any google fonts or any other fonts inside the with the import element and you can apply any style name and you can give the style uh, this font family and uh, font weight like this and you can apply it directly inside your page uh, like this then it will apply the styles like this uh, if i change this to 100 you can see it will change this to 100 so this is how you apply uh, fonts in next.js so let's go to the next dilemma.